intentions of my heart be acceptable in our sight. O Lord, my strength, truly thou art my redeemer. O Lord, more thee and less of me. Keep the picture before thou art flowing fountain. Use the Lord in thy service. Draw me closer, Lord, to thee. Speak through this, thy poor weak and earthly vessel. We should be careful to give you the praise and the glory.
present or future. Even our religious life is centered around the past. John Newton said, I once was lost. That's your family. And then he says, but now I'm fine. That's your prayer. And then he says, on down in one of those verses, when we've been there 10,000 years, that's your future. And, and all of us just sit around for a little while. We go talking about how things used to be. That's the past. And we talk about what's going on now. That's our present. And even we get to the point of saying what we are looking for and hope will come to pass on tomorrow. That's our future. Even in the Bible, we talk about that fellow that fell among things. That was the past. Yeah. When the Samaritan came along and bound him up, that was his presence. When he hauled him off to the hotel and said to the innkeeper, do what you got to do, and when I come back, I'll pay you if there's anything extra. That's the future. And in today's text, Moses breaks down God's command into a past, present, and future in preparation for possession of the promised land. You don't need your Bible. Keep your Bible open. Look at chapter. Look at chapter 8. Looking at verse 2, he talks about the past. He said, Remember all the way that the Lord has led you these 40 years. Why? To humble you. To prove you. In other words, to try you. To let you to find out what was written in your heart and would you keep the commandments of God?
made a way out of no way. So he said, I did this. I did this. He said, I did this to check you. I did this because when things are going well, ain't no problem. When things are good, ain't no problem. When things are on easy street, ain't no problem. But how do you respond when it's hell on every side? He said, I did this. I did this. That's your past. That's your past. He said, but now look here, look here. I want to bring you to the press. Okay. Uh, look what he says in verse 6. He said, keep the commandments of God. Feel it right now. For the Lord, look here, look at verse 7. He said, for the Lord is bringing you into a good land. A land of brooks of water and fountains and depths that spring out of the a land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees, pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey, a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness, thou shalt not lack anything in it, a land whose stones are iron, out of whose hills thou mayest dig bread. Because 
we forget. We forget to remind them that we weren't born like this. We, didn't, we weren't born with a silver spoon in our mouth. And we forgot to tell them that we had to struggle and go through some things. But through it all, God has kept us. Look what he said. Look what he said. He said, look, don't forget. Don't forget to keep his commandment. Don't forget to keep his judgment. Don't forget to keep his statutes. He said, that's when I had eaten and food and built you good houses. <laughs> yeah, you don't let certain folks eat. Uh, built you. Got all of the china cabinets full of all of the pretty places that you don't let everybody eat out of. <laughs> and, and, and your flocks have multiplied. Your herds have multiplied. You got silver and gold.
got snake bit. All you had to do was just look up and leave. God said, I'm Oh, his head and the 
of the show. Yeah, you have to go. It's over, man. It's finished. Into thy hand I commend the spirit. He died. I don't care that man. Took him down and put him in a bar or two. Yeah, because he knew I was coming. <laughs> Is 